Welcome to Words That Ordain, Quick Nugget. When reading the Bible, do you ever notice the difference between now and then? Jesus' disciples, as well as Jesus when healing the sick and the lame, casting out devils, raising the dead. Do you ever wonder what happened to that same power that existed back then and today in our local churches? You know, the scripture tells us that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But yet, there seems to be a stark contrast between now and our local churches and what Jesus did on a day-by-day basis. Has a church lost its power or its ability to function as Jesus did under the power of God? Something we should consider on tonight. Can we actually blame the church? Well, after all, the church is just people, right? And if we're going to blame the church, that means we have to blame each other for not being able to function as God intended us to function. You know, God gave us a free will, gave us the right to choose whether to obey or to disobey, whether to serve or not to serve. On the flip side of the coin, oftentimes the poor preacher becomes an all-too-familiar target. But the preacher's doing his job. You know, the book tells us that how can they hear except they have a preacher, and how can he preach except he be sent? So we find that the preacher's doing his job, and yet we have to look back at ourselves again Because if the preacher is preaching the word of God and we're not hearing the word of God or processing it or understanding it or functioning in it, how then can the power of God begin to be demonstrated in our lives? Scripture clearly states even in Mark chapter 16, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Verse 17 says, These signs shall follow them that believe. On tonight, this is the point. If we as believers don't believe in Jesus, How then can we function as Jesus? The time is upon us. There are sick people everywhere. COVID is everywhere. Killings. People are dying. Murders. Robberies. It's happening all around us. And we've been instructed to go into all the world and preach the gospel. I know we get hung up on the word preach. But preach only means to tell what you've seen and heard with your own eyes. You're a witness to what God has already done for you through Jesus Christ. And if we would preach that, Scripture tells us, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They will speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. On this quick nugget, I want to remind us that it is our responsibility to choose to serve. Serve through obedience. Serve by being an example of a believer. It is our responsibility to live holy and righteous even when opposition comes, even when death comes, and when sickness comes, when cancer comes. It's our responsibility to be the example, and if we are willing to put forth the effort, verse 20 says, and they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. I want you to know if we put our lives into his hands, he said he would go with us and he would function through us. He would work with us. Isn't it great when you have a buddy to work with? 
to help to carry the load and give direction and strategy to make sure that you're successful? Well, that's what the Lord is telling us. He'll work with us. And then he'll confirm the word. He didn't say he would confirm us. He said he would confirm the word. So we've got to start living the word so the Lord can confirm it in our lives that others might see and believe and receive. Pray God's blessing be upon you.